Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can do a time lap in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. The problem right now is that the iPad ver version doesn't really understand time lapses, but I found a hack how you can do it exactly the same way how you can do it on the desktop. So step number one, you should create a folder where you can have all of your time lapse videos in it. So I have a folder here on my files app and I have all of my time lapses in one folder. So just make sure that for every time lapse that you want to create, create a separate folder. If you have your pictures in the photos app and you don't know how to get them into the files app it's actually pretty simple go into the photos app here and then say select and now select as many photos as you want and you can go here to the share icon and under share you will find save to files now if i open this one i can now go into my ipad so for example on my ipad i created a folder called videos everything that's related with videos is in here and here i have a folder time lapses and now i could create a new folder for my new test two boom and here i say save and my images will be saved into this folder. For the purpose of this video, I don't need test number two, so we delete this one. Step number two, we go to DaVinci Resolve, and in order to make this work, you need the media page. If you don't know how to open all of the other pages, I made a video here on my channel, how to open all the other pages in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So watch that one first. So the cool thing about the media pages, the very first time you open it, you see here on the left side, also your folder structure. So for example, in my case, I can come here to the second one and I see all of my folders in my video folder. I have my time lapses here and now I can go into each of those folders. This is the test with just seven images. It comes from the same timeline like this one. This is my timeless from Vancouver at the night. But we are now just for the purpose of this video work with the test file. The first problem that we have right now is that we only see the images and not the sequence. If you go to the desktop, you would actually see that one here one image with all of your images and you could start working with that. But now we first have to figure out how we can get those sequences. Because on the desktop, you would just go here to the three dots and then it would show you show sequence, but it doesn't show that here on the iPad. So how we can do this, there's now two solutions. So in solution number one, I will show you how you can still open the sequence here like I did with my shortcuts. So I can see the sequence here. And in solution number two, you can also create a time lapse just with all of your images. You don't need to have a sequence. It just makes it easier if you have thousands of pictures. For solution Solution number one, we have to open the shortcuts menu. So option, command, and K. And here in the shortcuts menu, if you look down here to panels, you will see that we also have the media storage. And here on the media storage, we need two shortcuts. One for individual, I gave it the number eight, and one for sequence, I gave it the number nine. So you have to give those two a shortcut, individual and sequence then save everything. And now if I'm in the media page, this only works in the media page, not the other pages. In the media page, if I'm now coming to a folder that has a sequence of images. So you have to make sure that your naming is correct, like one, two, three, four, but it also works like this. Here I have image 7875, 7876, 7877. So you just have to make sure that all of your images are in a row, a sequence, so that this setting is working. So I come here into this folder. So, and instead of coming here, because it doesn't show me, now I can hit the shortcuts. Number nine, now it shows me my sequences. So I can now drag and drop that sequence down here into my media bin. Now I can create a timeline from those images. Why do I want to do that? I show you that. If I click this and I open the media data, I see the resolution of my images that I created. In order to have the exact same resolution like that, I want to create a new timeline because if I would just do that on my project settings, it would use the last project settings. I go in here, right click and say, create new timeline using selected clips. And now I don't say, use project settings, I actually say, okay, this was the timeline Vancouver, Vancouver night. And here on the format, I go and I do exactly the same numbers like this one. If you're on the free version, you only can go up to 4K or almost 4K. If you have the studio version, you can use exactly the same numbers. 4898 eight, times 3265, create. So now I have a master timeline that I can use. So I can now come into the edit or the cut page. In my case, I'm now coming to the edit page and I see my time-lapse here. Boom, just with the seven clips. What you can do now is you can now color correct your time lapse. And for that purpose, I just make it very, very simple. I just increase a little bit the highlights, the saturation, the contrast, and boost the shadows maybe like that. Do your color correction as you would like to do it. That's fine. I will make a separate video how you can do this. And then you can export and it will export a video with this high quality that you created in the timeline. So later you can still zoom in and you don't lose any of the quality that you made with your images. So let's talk about solution number two. For solution number two, we don't use the sequence. We basically just use the images that we have here. For that purpose, I create a new bin with 
time lapse and now I can come in here I can select all of them with command A and then just drag and drop them in here so now I have all of my images here just make sure that you have your sequence you can also change the sorting to ascending so it starts with one two three four five six seven I can create a timeline also just using all of those images before you do that we first have to change one major setting so if you don't have the settings menu come back to the shortcuts menu and now this time let's go to application DaVinci Resolve and give it a shortcut to preference this is the preference that we need now now. I have it permanently on zero so I can always open that when I hit zero. So here under zero you have a lot of settings that you can do in DaVinci Resolve. So now I come here to user and editing. And when you scroll down here you have the general settings for different time durations like for example the standard generator duration, the transition duration but also the still duration and by default it will say something here and a different frame rate here. So come back here and say frames and now say one frame because every image should be one frame. So now we say save and now we can actually mark everything here and do the same thing right click create a new timeline like before exactly the same thing not using the project settings we are using timeline number two that's fine and here on the format do exactly the same change the resolution to four eight nine eight times three two six five so create and now I have my second timeline this one here I can now come here into the edit page let's move this one here to our master and here in the edit page I'm now in timeline 2 and now you see that I have image 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 and if I would have a lot of images the way that I would now color correct them is actually to go here to the effect and search for the adjustment layer so adjustment clip and I, I drag this adjustment clip here on top of that and now you can select the adjustment clip and go to the color tab and now you can color correct just on the adjustment clip I make a new note and just for the purpose of this video some contrast and highlight done do all of your settings that you want to do and if I now coming back here to my time lapse I can now render this timeline in that resolution so you don't lose any of the quality of your images and then for my video I would just bring in the rendered video and work with that video these are the two ways how you can create a time lapse in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad if you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad I made a master class where I teach you everything from beginner to pro you will find a link in the description if you like this video hit like subscribe ding a ding in the bam bang gong and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.